So when you get a new aquarium cabinet like this, um, it's really good to give it a good stain or a gloss or whatever you want to do and make sure that it's waterproof. You want to use like a waterproof sealant and that will make sure that it lasts for longer. And when you go to do the seal, you don't just do the bits you see. Like it's quite common that I'll go to a job and they beautifully stained the visual stuff, but they haven't stained the rest. And now over time, even though it may be treated timber, you do see if you have a little bit of mess from your filter or you have a little bit of water go on the rest, then it does deteriorate the timber over a while, especially if you are using salt water or salted water. So giving it a good stain and even just turning it upside down even and staining underneath because you might drip, drip a bit of water and you don't really want it getting up into your timber. So doing a really thorough 365 degree stain would be the first bit of advice. Now the next thing you do is when you put it in position after you've stained it or lacquered it or whatever you want to do, you want to just make sure there's no rock in it. So no left and right. If, it's, if it doesn't rock at all, that means you don't have any high points. And that's a good start because if you've got high points, then there's every chance that your tank will crack. And then the next thing we want to do is put some polystyrofoam or rubber on the top of the stand. And that's to absorb any irregularities, which is guaranteed to be in the stand. Then the next thing you want to do is either put a spirit level on it or just chuck a centimetre of water in the bottom of the tank. And if you measure centimetre, 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 and there's no rock then you can pretty much assume the tank's level. If you find that there's half a centimetre here and a centimetre and a half here or whatever, then you do have to pack it. And when you pack it, you're wanting to pack under the legs. So one, two, three. So you're really wanting to pack it so it's nice and level. So you pack it underneath the legs. Now, the other thing just to be aware of is you want to be very careful when buying second-hand aquariums. Because depending on what silicon they've made the aquarium out of, and depending on how well they prep the glass for the silicon, will depend how long the tank lasts. Now, there are some quite cheap silicons on the market that really only last sort of around five years, whereas a good quality silicon should last longer, more like 20 years. So how they prep the glass is a big thing, and then how they... Um, the silicon they use is an absolutely big thing. So the issue though, is when you go and put an aquarium in position, even if it's not exactly level and it's a brand new tank, there's sort of a little bit of give, particularly with the polystyrofoam and, and because it's all new and it sort of settles. But what you don't want to do is buy a second hand tank, then you go and move it from where it had settled to somewhere else. And even if where they had it wasn't exactly level, but the tank had settled there, then you might put it somewhere else and it actually is level, or it's slightly not level in the opposite direction, then that's when your tank tends to let go. And it usually won't let go quickly, it'll let go over a period of time, because silicon has a lot of strength that way. So if your tank is totally level, and all your strength is going that way, it's silicon is very strong. But if your base is not totally level, this way, silicon actually isn't really strong. So buying a secondhand tank is always risky, especially if you're putting it in a beautiful home. Now, the other thing with um, secondhand tanks is very often when you buy a secondhand tank, you're buying a secondhand tank from someone that bought a secondhand tank. So you might say to someone, well, how long have you had this tank for? And he says, five years but you don't know how long the person had the tank for that he bought the tank off, or even maybe that person bought it off somebody else. So you really have no idea how old the tank is. So buying new tanks is so much safer. When you're buying secondhand tanks, you are always buying a risk.